Hello and welcome to John's Author Diary for the weekend in May the 26th, 2019. I've had a busy week, I've carried on working on my non-fiction. So I've sent Finish Your First Novel off to some beta readers, so I'm going to get some feedback on that. And I've finished the second draft of the main body of podcasting for authors. So the next step in that book is that I need to write the appendices because what I've got in the main section is basically just principles, a lot of things about how to prepare and do podcasts, interviews, that kind of thing. And then the appendices are going to be more technical, walkthrough guides on how to upload a podcast, that sort of thing. So when the inevitable does happen and something like a podcast host updates its system, I'll be able to go into the appendix pages and make those necessary changes without it affecting the main body of the text. And I've also got some other non-fiction ones planned for the future. So next week is the half-term holiday. So I will be maybe only doing about an hour a day, two hours a day, something like that. The rest of the time I'll be doing things with my wife and son, as my wife's off work as well. And I finished reading The Sudden Appearance of Hope by Claire North. I thought that book was excellent. I've read a few of her books now and I think she is up there as one of my favourite authors, I think. Highly recommended. I've also started reading Stormfront by Jim Butcher. So this is the first book in his Dresden Files series and it's been recommended to me countless times. I've never really been a fan of urban fantasy but I am enjoying this book immensely. So I'm about halfway through. I think I'll probably get this finished within the next day or two. So I watched the end of Game of Thrones this week, the finale of the entire series. Now I've seen online that there are people signing a petition to get the series refilmed. I think this is absurd. It's not your story. Now, granted, there were some disappointing things about the finale, and there were quite a lot of questions that had been raised throughout the series that weren't answered, like who was Ashura High? What was the point in Arya becoming a shapeshifter? So this is going to be a bit spoilery now, so turn off if you haven't watched it yet and you want to. So my key gripe with the last episode was the fact that John lost his agency as a hero in the scene, so after he kills Daenerys, the dragon arrives don't know why the dragon burnt the Iron Throne. That didn't really make sense. That's the point where John should have got on the dragon. He should have asserted himself as the king in that moment. That way the Unsullied would have had to bend the knee. And I don't know why Grey Worm was having a say in John's fate. Because he was like a tertiary character at best. And so what I think would have worked better is if John had renounced his claim and returned to the Night's Watch voluntarily. I think one thing I do find interesting is the complaints about Daenerys' character arc throughout. The idea that how on earth could she become evil? Her entire arc has been about the rise of a tyrant. She's been uncompromising with people she perceives as bad. She has utopian thinking, meaning that she thinks that she can create a better world by getting rid of the bad people. And then that equates with bad people or anyone who is against me or my plan. So that has been hinted at for ages. That's been there since she was taking over Slave Bay and things like that. So I didn't see the problem with Daenerys' story at all. Finally, I have a bit of a theory about Bran. So I think that the three-eyed raven is evil. I don't think it was an accident that the Night King was created because Bran made himself in the right place to be king. He even said he knew that he needed to be there. Now, my theory is, is that he knew because he's got prescient powers. He could see through time and so he probably knew that Daenerys was going to do a Dresden on King's Landing. And also think of all the people that have died in his wake because of his journey, Hodor, Rickon. So, Bran, evil genius. So I've had no questions this week, but if you have one, please do email me. It's john at johncronshaw.com. That's J-O-N-C-R-O-N-S-H-A-W. You can check out my Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash johncronshawauthor. You'll have access to this a day early, plus lots of short stories and articles and things like that. I try to post at least a couple of things a week, so do check that out. So until next time, cheerio. Mm-hmm.